hi everyone in this tutorial we will start making our basic image editor in streamlit so first of all let's create here a new python file okay and i will name it like img image underscore editor editor dot py file okay so hit enter and this will be my file and now first of all we need to import streamlit so just write here imp or art import strem R E M streamlit as st okay and uh, then we need to import an other library uh, which will allow us to edit our image and that is pillow okay so make sure that uh, you should have pillow okay and otherwise if you don't have pillow just go to the terminal new terminal okay and right here p i p i n s t a double install p i double -L -O w pillow hit enter and uh, this will install your pillow but as you can see my requirement is already satisfied okay so i do not need to install pillow so here you need to write uh, from pil so pill is basically a representation of pillow and it stands for python image library i think so okay so from pill import IMAG. so we need to import image module in order to play with the image okay and these are two things which you need to import first okay and then after importing these two things i should create first a title for my application okay so just right here st.mark markdown okay and uh, this will be my h1 tag okay so h1 then just close this h1 tag okay uh, slash h1 okay and then just right here unsafe allow html to t are you true okay sorry true and then inside this h1 tag i will say uh i am a g image edit your editor okay and i will make it in the center of the screen okay so just right here uh, style style is equals to and then right here txt text a l i g n align then c e n t your center and this uh, semicolon okay so this will create a markdown in the center of the screen okay and uh, after creating a markdown uh, we need to have i think we should draw a line as well okay so just right here st dot mrk markdown again okay and then you need to put these dashes okay so just save it and now here you need to write stream streamlet r u n run then i m a g m a g underscore e d i t r editor dot p y hit enter okay sorry we got an error okay so we need to change the spelling okay so streamlit we need to give a space before run okay let's uh, hit enter now and everything will work fine yeah running and okay so this is our streamlit image editor but we have dashes so put another dash here as well okay sorry the, not this one this one let's save it again let's rerun it reload it and yeah now we have a line here okay and beneath this line i think i should create a file uploader widget in order to upload images okay so just right here sd dot file uploader okay and uh, i will say uh, u p l o i d upload your i m a g s images okay or maybe upload your image okay and uh, then in the type i will pass my all possible formats of images okay so i think first should be jpg okay and then we have png images then we have jpeg images so just research on these formats okay and pass your all possible images formats here okay and after this file uploader i will save my uploaded file inside this img image variable okay so this image variable will actually hold my image okay and after doing this step now it's time to play with pillow okay so here i'm importing my image module of pillow so i will pass my this image to this module okay so just right here i m a g image okay and then inside this image module i need to open my this image as 
uh, an editable image for pillow okay so just write here dot operator and then you need to write here open okay so i need to open this uh, image okay so just write your image okay and then i will save my that opened image inside this uh, uh, img variable but first before i do this step i need to write here an if statement and that will be uh, first of all i will check that if my this img image is not empty okay this means that if user has successfully selected an image then i need to perform this step okay and for now just uh, print img img okay so you will get a weird output but yeah let's print something on the screen okay and now let's rerun this application okay image and yeah this is our file uploader upload your image okay browse files okay and here this is my image select it open and as you can see we have now a pillow object okay so pill this thing okay uh, and this is the mod okay this is the size and this is the address of that object okay so this is a memory address and uh, now first of all uh if you don't know about pillow so pillow is a very very easy library of python which allow us to play with images and uh, for example if i want to print the mod of this image okay so you just need to write img dot mod mod okay and uh, this will print the mod here okay so if i read on this application if i again select select my image okay so you will see here our mod and that is rgb okay and uh, if you want to print uh, something like a format okay f o r m a t format of your image okay you can do this as well just reload this thing browse file okay select your file open it and yeah my format is jpeg okay so it's cool and now if you want to print the size of your image or the dimensions you can do this as well just write here size size okay and this will print the size of the image okay so reload browse file okay and select it open it okay and yeah this is the size of our image okay so 1920 into 1280 okay and now here i'm thinking that instead of printing the more format and size on this terminal i think that i should print them on this streamlit web app okay so let's print them so here uh before i actually do this process i need to create three empty placeholders okay so each placeholder will hold my one of the image property so for example my placeholder one will hold my mod of the image the second will hold the size and the third will hold the format okay so let's create here three empty placeholders okay so first of all i will have size is equals to st.empty or empty okay so this will be my placeholder one which will hold the size then we have uh, m or the mod is equals to st dot empty okay so this will hold the mod and then we will have f o r m a t format but format is a reserved keyword so just write here underscore is equals to st dot e m p t by empty okay and this will hold my format okay and now after opening the image i will say uh, S I Z size dot uh, I will use markdown here again okay M A R K D O W markdown okay and then it will be my H6 tag okay so H6 okay and then we need to close this H6 tag as well okay and this will be my formatted string okay so just write here F and inside this H6 tag I will write uh, uh, s i z size okay and then i need to put these brackets and then i will say img dot s i z size okay it's cool and now i will do the same process for my mod and format okay so mod mod dot m a r k d o d d o w and markdown okay this will be again my formatted string okay and it will be at six as well okay so just write here at six then we need to close this at six okay uh, at six and then i will say uh, mod mod okay and then it img dot mod mod okay and uh, i need to create my third markdown okay that will be my format uh format underscore dot 
m a r k d or w on markdown okay and uh, this will be my formatted string again okay then h6 then close this thing close at six and then i will say f o r m a t format okay and then these parentheses img dot f o r m a t format okay and we need to write here a uh, unsaf allow html and s a f e unsaf underscore uh, sorry a double l o w allow underscore uh, html is equals to the are you true okay and uh, just uh, copy this thing and paste it here and then paste it here okay let's save it and i hope everything will work okay so let's refresh this thing again and browse file select the file open it and yeah we have our information so our size is this our mod is this and our format is this okay so it's cool and this is how you can combine pillow with streamlit in order to get awesome output so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, in the next tutorial we will add some more features to our this image editor and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye